Johnny, you got a topic? Johnny topic. Johnny topics. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of important. Here's Johnny. It's Here kind of it's kind of important. It guys. is important. It's uh it's very really, important. it's really important. It's uh it's the fact that Attorney General William Barr mm -hmm. is recommending using sedition uh for pros federal prosecutors against protesters. Wow. Uh, so here's this article. It says, William Barr suggests charging violent protesters with sedition. Uh, he's expressed some frustration with some local and state prosecutors handling of riot-related crimes, telling top Justice Department prosecutors that he wants them to be aggressive in bringing charges related to protest violence, including exploring using a rarely used sedition law, uh, according to somebody who knows about the matter. He's lashed out on the left, uh, obviously, uh, in 2010, federal prosecutors charged members of a Christian militia called the Houteris with seditious conspiracy. They were acquitted for lack of evidence, and they've also used it, uh, the law against Puerto Rican separatists in the 1930s. Wow. Um, this is uh, scary. It's beyond scary. This is... Uh, yeah. With so everything that's happening, too... It's extremely scary. Do you see the chess moves that they're making mm -hmm. to really put in real fascism across? And Democrats aren't going to do anything about this either. They're going to turn around and be like, yeah, we need law and order, too. That's what Nancy Pelosi just said. This is this is again. This is the oligarchy working against the people. This is why I don't understand if you support Julian Assange. Right. If you want him to be to be completely free and you know he shouldn't be extradited. How can you not support the actions by these government officials, by law enforcement, and maybe, I don't know, by some prosecutors to really incriminate protesters for the First Amendment? And then journalists, too, are getting arrested. So we we can't even do our, our, our jobs because we're going to get arrested if we don't have whatever freaking things that they want us to have now. Like yeah. this is this is fascism. America, wake up. You're already living in it. You're yeah. living in fascism. Well, the, here's the thing that uh, Pishman just put out there. The only thing that you're doing that scares the establishment is these protests right now. It's like the only thing that's catching their attention. But what do you want? You want sedition with bar or you want uh what's the other one? Truancy with Kamala Harris. It's like this is the this is the options whatnot and stuff. Well, yes, yeah, she's a prosecutor. Just... I mean she's <laughs> she was. Yeah. Democrats support this, Republicans implement it. Right. right. I mean that's that's exactly it's just what like that meme of time. So let's look at what it says here. So from Cornell Law, it says it's uh, it's part of the code. If you guys don't know what the code is, the U.S. code, you can find it U.S. Code House Gov. The United States Code is a consolidation and codification by subject matter of the general permanent laws of the United States. So this is the law of the land, and uh, so here it is. Well, Here's the official it. site. I show where I get all my sources. Mm -hmm. Official. Office of the Law Revision. This is the exact source. So you go to Title 18, Part. Uh, let's see, Part One, and then you go down to Chapter. Which chapter was it? Chapter 115: Treason, Sedition, and Subversive Activities. Uh, and then you look at the section. And uh, the section that I got, I got it from this article, which says that uh, top Justice Department official embraces use of sedition charges for protest violence. The Deputy Attorney General Jeffrey A. Rosen emphasized that the Sedition Institute covered a variety of crimes and the push to consider it was proper. So this guy supports it. Look at this fucking guy. He supports it. And um, uh, so he says he supports what Barr said. He also said that uh, they were on a call last week. Federal prosecutors were on a call last week and they should consider that. That's when he said it. And the push, he said the push was uh, proper and that prosecutors did not need evidence of a plot to overthrow the government to consider and bring charges under the statute, despite what the name might suggest, Mr. Rosen wrote. Let me look, let's look at the statute here. This is exactly what it is. The statute. The yeah. statute. It says, uh, if two or more persons in any state or territory or in any place subject to the jurisdiction of the United States conspire to overthrow, put down, or to destroy by force the government of the United States or to levy war against them, or to oppose by force the authority thereof of by force to prevent, hinder, or delay the execution of any law of the United States, or by force to take, seize, to possess any property of the United States, cr contrary to the authority thereof, they shall each be fined under this title or in prison not more than 20 years or both. Oh, 20 years. That's... That's a short little, little, little time. It just reminds me of the Assange thing. Yeah, this it is really literally—they're using him as an example 
as an example and we can't forget the trump administration has the ability to completely just remove this and they're not yeah they're not it's disgusting. Where's, I thought this was your guy, the yeah. the, the populist Wiki guy Leaks. that's, well, you know, WikiLeaks and, and, and civil liberties. Where where are our civil liberties, Trump? I mean, I we, like the Democrats are, yes, doing it, too. But he's the commander in chief. He could do yeah. something. Instead, he's running with this narrative and, and going to do to these protesters on a smaller scale yeah. what they're doing to There's Julian. Some, yeah, exactly. It's like you're going to kill the messenger. Anybody's going to expose just the publisher. Anybody's going to expose uh, war crimes. We're going to go after you. If you want to get out in the street and you just want to protest against the government, we're going to treat you like you're trying to overthrow the government. And yeah, put you, that's exactly and get it. With sedition, it's disgusting. Because we yeah. don't want they're you trying to... to scare people from yeah. not going out exactly. there. Exactly. Right from now, going, so. yeah, from going out there. And if you're and, rather and, than talking, and to those them. are people. But if what happens with Julian Assange, that's going to expand to journalists, to real journalists, people who are actually covering these stories that don't that the 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 duopoly doesn't want you to cover that these people in power don't want you to cover. That's real journalism. It's not the the, the shitheads on CNN regurgitating each other's narratives for fun because that's what they're doing. And the CNN or Fox, they both regurgitate each each other's narratives for for the system. They can only say certain things. They 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 are controlled they're controlled and they're set out there to put propaganda so people could continue falling in line with this the fake duopoly that we have yep and and, and then at the end of the day yeah. it's, it's it's like this, this is why we're, we're telling you the real information this is why there's nuance to to what we talk about even with the election thing because they frame it like it has to be democrat is on cnn republican is on fox that's not media you guys that's a propaganda machine yeah and to conflate the fact that you are upset with your government or your local government and you want to get out there and protest systemic racism or that that means you're a communist and, and that means wanna... now that you can be overthrow you can be charged with trying to overthrow the government like really, and you want to sit that and William Barr wants to talk about the Communist Party of China with Pompeo and say they censor people all the time. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> We're going to conflate the fact that you're protesting within your First Amendment rights in the land of opportunity, America. You want to say that you're trying to overthrow the government? This is like the truancy thing. Like once again, I just hope these are scare tactics because I hope this doesn't happen to anybody because it would be disgusting if they really try to make an example out of a protester. I mean, what are they really saying? Pastor, yeah? it's already yeah. happening. Good. It's already happening. PSL, Los Angeles. Police agencies in the Denver area arrested anti racist organizers in a or coordinated assault today. People were arrested in a Home Depot parking lot at their homes and after they were pulled over while driving. Those arrested were the leaders to demand justice for Elijah McClain, who was brutally murdered by the Aurora Police Department. They are still in jail, with the exception of one person. They are facing multiple felony charges and years in prison in an obvious frame up aimed at stopping the movement for justice for Elijah McClain. So wow. the there party the party of socialism and uh, what is it? Party for Socialism and Liberation. Uh-huh. This is what this is what they said today, uh, September seventeenth, so that was <laughs> yesterday. Uh, in Denver, Colorado, law enforcement units arrested several lead organizers of the mass anti racist movement uh, for Elijah McClain. Uh, Russell Rutch was arrested while in a parking lot. An hour later, five police cars surrounded and arrested Lillian House while she was driving. SWAT teams arrived at Joel Norham's home and arrested him. As we arrived, we just learned that Elysia Lazuro has been arrested. All four members are all four are members of the party and for socialism and liberation. All right. There We're may be others. There, there may be others who have been arrested. And they are facing multiple serious felony charges and many misdemeanors, including bizarre and ludicrous charge of kidnapping, all because they have lar- organized large BLM protests. It's a major political attack on the whole movement and PSL. Uh, they're working on a campaign to defeat these phony charges and win their freedom. Uh, no. By the way. Go keep reading, bro. The movement for justice in the Denver area was has in the streets consistently has has been in the streets consistently since the brutal mur- murder of George Floyd and the release of the footage of the Aurora PD's murder of 23 year old Elijah McClain, which was horrible. Uh, these organizers have worked closely with other activists and family members of local police brutality victims to amplify their cases. They have committed no crimes, but only devoted themselves to you know, um, protesting. Johnny, yeah, I'm sorry. Breaking news. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg just died. No, I looked it up. I couldn't find it. It's just all over. Two minutes place. ago, it just put it out. The New York Times just put it out. Fox put it out about three minutes ago. Uh, not that what you were saying was so important. No, because no, I think no. We we'll need get, to get back out, to that. I think we need to get out to Denver now. Really, I really, I, I really do. I, really I agree think with we that. We need to go to Denver. If that's the should case, should we go to Denver, you guys? Uh, should we Let go us to Denver? Know. I mean, we. I, 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 listen, we got to go to the courtroom. We got to go yeah. to the arresting officers. We got to go to everything. If this is true. 
we have to talk about this. We have to be there and stuff like that. If they're arresting protesters like that, remember the whole thing Johnny was? Oh, we're going after Antifa. It's all the Antifa, the hidden people, what not. You know what I'm saying? That was this thing. These are Black Lives Matter organizers that they're arresting right not, now. I mean, not even specifically that organization, but people supporting the movement itself. We gotta go. And they have the right to support that even if you don't agree with them. Even this, if what, like, what, I mean, and which, Elijah to McClain me is like, too? how do you not... Elijah McClain was the Elijah one that they McClain. should freaking really. I, I that was what, he was autistic for crying out loud. And the fact that they can drug somebody, yeah, did that I mean, some real systemic change should have come out of this. That they can no instead longer ever, ever protesters. drug people. But instead, they're just jailing the protesters. Oh my god! They're not. Yeah. They, why do you think people keep protesting? Why do you think then people are going to start to riot when you are instead of arresting the culprits who did the thing? You are now turning it around and saying, oh, these protesters are, are now going to be incriminated. And why do you think do you think that eventually people aren't going to get mad and start burning shit everywhere because they're angry because nothing's getting done? I mean, do you see where we're going here? This is just this just makes everything worse. This is really this is fascism. And, got a video. and now freaking. Yeah. Oh, God, go ahead. Johnny. Johnny. Okay, yeah i don't know yeah i thought it was gonna be them uh, marching okay. i haven't seen the video but yeah there you go all right we gotta look into that for sure johnny maybe we might have to make a trip out to denver I, I i don't know i think this this should be like really big breaking news right now and stuff and this is especially with a bar uh yeah, the, yeah. The, the, yeah like and then assange and then what happened here with the um uh journalists and multiple journalists like 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 we said we're on the press freedom tracker we're on you know. It's such crock of shit, man. It's what we either get that or we get a Jackie Lacey, a Kamala yeah. Harris kind of bullshit. I mean, it's like we got no choices over here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's disgusting.